Hi, and welcome to Story Time with Balan. Today I will be reading a little golden book. This is Win the Pooh, a Trick or a Treat. This is by Anne Bray Brooks and Arcadia. So let's get started. It was Halloween, and Pooh and Piglet were busy carving jack-o'-lanterns. I'm not going to retreat this year. Pooh announced Piglet. I'm too scared. What is there to be afraid of? asked Pooh. We'll only be seeing our friends. Well, what if a costume has a half a lump hiding under it instead of a friend? answered Piglet. replied Pooh. Look, he said, pointing to a book he had been reading. I thought of a costume we can wear together. We'll go trick or treating dressed as a totem pole. All right, sighed Pooh. Piglet as Pooh got together the pieces of their costume. I'll go, but only if you promise to run if you see a heffalump. I promise, said Pooh. He lifted Piglet onto his shoulders and arranged the costume so they would be a totem pole with two faces. The two of them headed for Rabbit's house. Oh dear, Piglet whispered as they passed Rabbit's garden. Something is hiding in the cornstalks. Don't worry, replied Pooh. That's just a scarecrow. Not a scare piglet. Pooh and Piglet hurried up to Rabbit's door. Happy Halloween, Pooh cried. Trick or treat. No one answered. Oh, bother, said Pooh. Rabbit's not home. Next, Pooh and Piglet went to Kanga's house. Pooh knocked on the door and cried. Happy Halloween, trick or treat. Again, no one answered. Oh, bother, said Pooh. King is not home either. As Pooh and Piglet headed down the path, a white figure flew towards them, shrieking. Ooh, ouch, ooh, p p cried Piglet. It's a ghost, run! Holding tightly to Piglet, Pooh ran as fast as he could. He dashed behind the tree and peeked out at the ghost. The white thing thrashed around for a few minutes and suddenly it untangled itself. Tigger, Pooh exclaimed. Tigger frown. Who are you? He asked. And what are you? It's me, said Pooh. And me, added Piglet. We're a totem pole. Tigger scratched his head. He had never seen a totem pole before. He was very pleased when Pooh invited him to go trick-or-treating. You can dress up as a ghost, Pooh suggested. But if you see a half a lump anywhere, you must promise to tell us, Pooh insisted. By the way, I forgot to show you guys that page. And here's the one that we are on. The friends hurried on to Eeyore's place. As they approached, they saw that his little twig house had been covered with cobwebs. Ooh, huge spider, said Piglet, shivering. Don't go any closer. Then out of shadows, a voice called. And why not? A heffalo, cried Pooh. Where? yelled Tigger. Run, squeaked Piglet. Well, said Eeyore, peering around the corner. No one ever sticks around, naturally. Not even the spiders who made these cobwebs. When he recognized Eeyore's voice, Pooh stopped. We came to see you, he said. Would you like to come trick-or-treating with us? Q 
can't, Eeyore said gloomily. Don't have a costume. Hmm, said Pooh. Well, if you roll around in these cobwebs, you wouldn't look like a giant mummy, Tigger said. Here, buddy boy, let me help you. When Ear was ready, the whole gang headed down the path. Suddenly, four strange shapes ran out of the trees. Heffalumps, shouted Tigger. Run, cried Piglet. Then the small shapes squealed. Look, Mama, we scared them. Pooh halted in his tracks. Roo, he said. The four strange shapes removed their mask, and there was Roo, Canker, Rabbit, and Owl. We tricked them, Mama, we tricked them, Roo squeaked happily. Yes, dear, Kanga replied. Now let them catch their breath, then we can all go to Owl's house for some treats. Piglet, what did I tell you? Pooh said as the friends walked towards Owl's house. There was nothing to be afraid of. All we've seen are our friends, it's Halloween. I'm glad, Pooh, Piglet said. Happy Halloween. Happily Halloween to you too, Piglet, Pooh replied. The end. So if you would like to get this book, I will leave a link in the description below if you'd like to get it. And also, if there are any books you would like me to read, just leave a comment down below and suggest them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Storytelling, and like and subscribe to Toy World. Bye!